Elhamdülillah, elhamdülillah, elhamdülillahi rabbil alemin ve salatu ve selamu ala rasulina Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbi ecmain. Nehmetullahi teala ve nastafiruna şeru an la ilahe illallah vahdehu la şerike la. Neşeru anna seyyidina Muhammedin abduhu ve habibuhu ve resuluh. Sallallahu aleyhi ve ala alihi ve zvaci ve sahabihi ve tabayih. Hulafe reşidin mahadiyin min ba'di. Vezirin mati ala tahkik. خصوصا منه على ما تقول في رسول الله تحقيق عمر المؤمنين حضرة أبو بكر وعمر سمن وعلي ولا بقى صاحب تابين رضوان الله تعالى عليه مجمعين يا أيها المؤمنون الحاضرون إتقوا الله تعالى وتو إن الذين كفروا الذين هم محسنون الحمد لله الحمد لله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله لا زين واتوب عليه Believers, believers must be careful. Believers. Who are the believers? Those who believe in Allah and His Prophet, and those who believe in the Judgment Day. Those believers should be careful. We are okay today. What about tomorrow? Are you okay tomorrow? No, you don't know about that. Then you have to know where you are stepping where you're putting your feet. But the 21st century people became heedless and headless, living 24 hours with problems and worry. 24 hours worrying, 17 years old to 70, 80, 90, those who are ready to enter to grave, but their worrying is not the worrying of Ahirat, is the worrying of dunya. What are they worrying? What I'm going to eat tomorrow? What I'm going to drink tomorrow? What am I going to have? Am I going to have enough money tomorrow? Do I have a car tomorrow? I don't like this car. Am I going to change it for tomorrow? Your worry never ends. And you finish your life and you prepare yourself to hellfire. Then it doesn't matter what you call yourself. Call yourself a believer. Are you able to take that shahadat with you? At last going out. As the Holy Prophet is saying, the way you live, the way you believe, that's how you will live. The way you live, that's how you will die. The way you die, that's how you will rise to the judgment day. The way you believe, that's how you will live. From where this sickness came to the Muslims to worry for tomorrow, worrying for today, worrying for dunya, since when? Over 100 years. And the Muslims now, as we say, from 7 years old to 70 years old, 80, 90, worrying non-stop, but worrying only for dunya. Not worrying to say, if Azrael is coming to me today, am I going out from this world as a believer? Did I get up this morning and I kept my promise to my Lord? If Azrael is going to come to me today all day long, am I going to go up there to say, I kept my promise this morning, Ya Rabbi. Ask that to yourself. Ask that question to yourself. You'll find the answer. Nobody has to say anything to you. Did you cheat early in the morning? Of course. Those who are praying are also cheating. Turning this way, that way, getting up by force. They must be in a very squeezed position worldly and they are believing that they want something from Allah. But even when they are doing it cheating, but even then they are doing it cheating. So wake up to yourself because Azrael is ready to strike. Keep that alive in yourself. Don't say that I am a young one or I am a strong one or I am a healthy one or I am a powerful one or I have so many positions. Look, read the newspapers today. Watch how many strong ones are going out from this world. How many healthy ones are going out from this world. Look and watch. Maybe tomorrow is your turn. And worry. Yes, you must worry. 
you must worry for Ahirat. We have been sent to this world to earn our Ahirat. Did you earn your Ahirat today? At least, did you make promise today to live for Ahirat? Everything that you do in this world, did you promise today that you're going to do it for the sake of Allah? Preparing yourself for Ahirat. If you are doing that, then you have no worry. You have only one worry, Ahirat. That never ends. There is the one that keeps pushing you continuously forward. There is a time that people will know too. This one ran for Allah. If you are running for dunya, then your energy is going to finish. And when the energy is finishing, then your hope is going to finish. And shaitan is coming to you saying, don't worry, your Lord is merciful. You don't have to do it. He's going to forgive you. This is what he is saying. Who is saying this? Allah is saying this to us. This is how that shaitan is coming to fool you. Yes. Your Lord is merciful with you when you have the breath of life and carrying it. That's a mercy to wake up, to shake yourself up. To say, what is it that I'm doing? When am I going to wake up? Ask that question to yourself. If you didn't yet start right now, push yourself now. Don't leave it for tomorrow because tomorrow may be too late. So, so many nations in the coming months, in the coming years, they're going to turn upside down. So many businesses are going to turn upside down. So many healthy people are going to enter to sicknesses. So many people who think that they are on top level are going to come down, all the way down. Look back, take lesson from history. Muslims are screaming in the streets today saying, why Allah is not helping us? The Americans came to Iraq. They went to Afghanistan. The Israelis are finishing us. Yeah. Ask the question to yourself. The answer is with you, not with the Americans. They are in Iraq today. Tomorrow they may be in Turkey. And there is a road leading to that. These nations, these people, that's what they are preparing. And they say, we are such good ones. And their soldiers came and are raping our mothers and our sisters. Uh, you weren't that good maybe. Sit and think. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't send anything to a man who didn't deserve. Sit and think. Watch what happened. Know that the history is moving. Watch step by step and you will understand. And don't look at the other nations, your own nation. Look at how they are and the hope for tomorrow for them is not that great. It's terrible. All that happened to us, to the Muslims, why? Since we left Allah, over a hundred years ago we have risen against the ruler that Allah sent to us, the Khalifa. We have risen against him. All nations, Muslim nations rose against him saying, we don't want this kind of ruling. We don't want these kinds of laws. What are these laws? Remove it. We put our own laws. Hmm. Now you are okay. In all Muslim nations, things that never happened in their dreams, now it's happening. They're worse than the Western countries. Watch. I don't have to tell you. You know how it is. You know better than me. So what's in it for us? We are part of it. We have to sit and pray. Yes, Ya Rabbi, we are in it. We are part of it. We are asking for forgiveness. Ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say, yes, if you give me the power, I will stand up. And I will change all these wrong things. And I'm starting to change the wrong things with myself. And I'm promising to you that I'm going to live according to your laws, not according to my ego. Then you will be all right. Even if you change nothing, even if the whole world turns upside down, you will be okay. So wake up to yourself. Today is a good day. Tomorrow, worse is coming. The following day, worse is coming. The following day, worse is coming. But the Holy Prophet والسلام, is saying otherwise. Allah is saying otherwise to the believers. Saying the Ahir is going to be better. But it's not happening better to those people who are claiming that they are believers. Every day that is passing is becoming worse. Yes. It's because something is wrong with their belief. Something is wrong with their faith. Their faith and their actions are completely something else. So we must wake up. We must wake up. Amri bil ma'roof wa nahi amil munkar. 
that's finished too, completely. That the Holy Prophet is saying, when that finishes, everything is finished. In the nations, Amri bil Maruf must first come from the top leaders. The leaders must give orders to the people to direct them to the right roads and to stop them from the wrongdoings. But it became otherwise. Imams, sheikhs, priests, rabbis, everyone is falling into the same category now. They are afraid to speak the truth because some authorities may call them bad and question them. That's what happened. But you must not be afraid to speak the truth at least to your own selves. At least your own selves. This is what's happening. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm saying. I'm saying the shahadat, but I'm living otherwise. I'm saying the shahadat, but I'm breaking every law, everything that the Holy Prophet said. I'm living something else. I am a different creature. Wake up to yourselves. If Azrael comes to you in that situation, it's not going to be enough to say, I'm a Muslim, 20, 30, 40, 60, 100 years. The Ahir word, the last word is important. And if you are not living according to that, then you are not going to be able to hold on tightly to that shahadat. That is the time, again, that you are going to run around looking. Where is the doctor? Where is the help? But Azrael is there and you are not seeing. You are still running to look for doctors. Is that what you are doing right now? Yes, that's what you are doing right now. Any little incident that comes to you, the first thing that you remember is doctor and hospital and emergency. This is what you are remembering. You are not remembering Allah and His Prophet. You are not remembering to say, is this Azrael coming to check me up? Maybe, let me see. Let me not get excited and slowly let me see. Let me make two rakats. Let me go to sajda. From where did we learn this? From where did you learn to call 911? Is Islam saying to you that 24 hours any incident happens to call 911? Turning the whole world upside down with your confusion and fitna and later, 911, I'm afraid somebody is coming? You are not afraid from Allah, definitely. You are not a believer then. You are claiming the shahadat. You're not believing what the Holy Prophet is saying. So what is the Holy Prophet is saying to us, the believer? Your today must be better than yesterday. Tomorrow must be better than today if you are a believer. If you are a believer, then your today has to be better than yesterday. And your tomorrow must be better than today. Is there any doubt with the words of the Holy Prophet If you have doubt then you lost your faith. Check it out. Look at it. Is that what's happening to you today? Today is better than yesterday and you're hoping for tomorrow that it's going to be better, not worldly again, not dunya, ahirat, ahirat. Islam is concentrating on everything in ahirat, not in dunya. Leave that concentration of dunya, concentrate on ahirat, you will be the winner. Everything comes along then to you. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. La zima la zila ilaha illa wal hayyul qayyum wa atubu ilayh. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Lahul mulku wa lahamdu yuhi wa ta'ala kulli shayin qadir. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Lahul mulku wa lahamdu yuhi wa ta'ala kulli shayin qadir. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Lahul mulku wa lahamdu yuhi wa ta'ala kulli shayin qadir. La ilaha illa anta subhani in kuntum minal zalimin. La ilaha illa anta subhani in kuntum minal zalimin. La ilaha illa anta subhani in kuntum minal zalimin. Subhun kudusun rabbuna rabbul malaikati wa ar-ruh subhun kudusun rabbuna rabbul malaikati wa ar-ruh subhun kudusun rabbuna rabbul malaikati wa ar-ruh inna dina illa Allah al-islam Allahu akbar 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 Allahu ak Salatul Juma, Juma namazana niyet. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmiddin. 
Yahana would do a yahan as thine, Hina Sirata Mustaki. Sirata Lazina Namzale, Hinda, Hima, Dubiale, Himola Bandin. Amen. Ulia, you halka, Hirun, love, do a tabudun, Olan, to Margin, the Marbut, Olan, Argin, the Marbut, to Molan, to Margin, the Marbut, the Kumil Kumali at Tin. Allah, wait well, Allah, wait well. Semi Allah, who demand Hamida, Rabban Allah, 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 Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahman, Rahim, Maliki, Omitin. He can outdo a yak and a sky in a hidden Sirata Mustakim. Sirata Lazina, I'm tally him, Gahir and Mount Dubiale him, Walla Bandin. Allah, who are had Allah, who summat, Lamia lit, Walla Mulat, Walla Mia Kula, who Kufuan Ahad. Allah, who ate well, Allah, who ate well. Semi Allah, who demand Hamida, Rabban Ali Kalham, Allah, who ate well, 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 Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. La ilaha illallah.
العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإلهكم إله واحد لا إله إلا هو الرحمن الرحيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم بالجلال والجمال سبحانك يا عظيم سبحان الله
وسلم على جميع الانبياء المرسلين وعلي كل الاجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين على اشرف العالمين سيدنا محمد صلوات على افضل العالمين سيدنا محمد صلوات على اكمل العالمين سيدنا محمد صلوات صلوات الله تعالى على ملائكته وامياه ورسله وجميع الخلق على محمد وعلى ال محمد عليه وعليه السلام ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته رضي الله تبارك وتعالى عن سادة أصحاب رسول الله أجمعين وعن التابعين بهم بإحسان أمة المجتهدين والمعاضين وعلماء المتكلم والإياء الصالحين وعن مشايخنا في الطريق ضمن أشمانية العلية قدس الله تعالى أرواحهم الزكية ونور الله تعالى أدوحة المباركة وعد الله تعالى المباركات المفيدات دائم والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة فاتحة اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد النبي امي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد النبي questions ask uh, don't hesitate if we have the answers we will give if we don't have the answers then we're not going to give we're not responsible to know for anything we are not scholars we are not sheikhs but we are following sahib al-sayf and inshallah rahman his words will be enough not only for us but for the whole of mankind until judgment day assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh 